This is just another look at cutting shaft threads. This is all in real time. In fact, the video takes longer than real time because of the close-ups that I show. It all starts with a tapered collet that will hold the shaft accurately. I'll snug up the main chuck. and install another collet on the shaft at the rear chuck. At this point the shaft is only one or two thou oversized so you have to be confident that your chucks and collets are true. I touch up on the face with my end mill and set my travel dial to zero. And I'll fire it up and take a few light cuts to clean up the face of the shaft. Let me get in a little bit closer. Maybe that's too close. I want to get a view of the whole carriage in there. Okay, that's good. I'll reset my zero. and take a cut to full depth. Since I already cut a shaft before this one, my dial is set. I know that this cut should leave my bore about six thou undersize. I have to watch the dial closely though so I don't run into the bottom of the blind hole. I blow out the chips. Verify the size. Dial it in and take a finished cut. I actually leave the bore about a thou undersize with this cut so I can go in with a reamer afterwards. This guarantees that every bore is exactly the same and the light cut with the reamer almost burnishes the hole to size so it gives a nice finish. Okay, I'll get the router out of the way so I can ream the hole. Clean out the chips. And feed in the reamer. Now I know that bore is perfect. A 3 8 pin will fit in there with a pop. Time to change to the threading tool. Now these are the tools that I had made and this is a further modification I made so they'll work on joints too. I'll lock it in and get ready to thread. Since the cutter head is exactly the same size as my end mill I know the tool will touch up at exactly the same setting I finished the bore at. 
First I have to touch up at the bottom of the hole. Here I'm touching the bottom and double checking it. Set the dial to zero. And back out 20 thou for clearance and reset the zero. Now I can start it up. Crank out the tool for the roughing cut. This cut will be about 30 thou deep per side. And engage the half nut. Clean out the chips. Don't forget I'm bringing my tool back within 20 thou of bottoming out. Crank the dial in so I don't undo the threads I just cut. Bring the carriage into depth. Set the cross slide for the final depth. In this case about 39 and a half thou. Engage the half nut again. And these threads should be finished. I'll check them with a joint pin just to make sure. This one feels about perfect. The last step is to clean up the threaded hole. I switch to another tool so that I can chamfer the outside of the threaded hole. I already know the depth I want to go after touching up. And this shaft is done on this end. Thanks for watching.